so far I really have today I'm taking you along I'm actually driving right now so you know probably not safe to be trying to do this right now but it's fine we'll be just fine I'm on my way <laughs> to go get a massage y'all I don't even know where to start with this my body has been jacked up really since college like I think that's when it all went downhill because I didn't really have a bad back or anything like that until college the way I used to sit to type, sit for hours at a time with my neck being in all crazy positions so that I could um, type papers and stuff, especially the dissertation. I just remember being locked in certain positions for hours at a time typing and it was always in a place where like I shouldn't be like typing on the couch. Always a bad idea. Well, usually a bad idea. Um, I had a horrible desk chair so like it just set me up for failure essentially and so now I have really bad back problems really my neck is probably the worst of it and my shoulder right here just t-rash when I tell you it's so bad that like literally on random days my shoulder just gets locked up and the pain shoots all the way up to my jaw so I have really bad I mean I already clenched my jaw so that's not helpful at all um like when I'm stressed out, I clench my jaw. So literally this whole left side is really the worst. And when it gets going, it does not stop. And the pain really leads to like migraines and it's a lot. My mom has a friend who um, does massages. She's actually done me at least one massage before. It might've been two, um, but my mom set it up to where I literally have an hour and a half an hour and a half massage that I'm about to enjoy um so I'm really looking forward to it um I really think it's gonna help hopefully a lot of the pain I haven't had any like pain and tension today really this week I've been okay but it is consistent to the point where I mean it's every week that I deal with this at least one day a week if not more and so um I usually will use like icy hot and heating pads and all the things and yeah, it's just, it's not a good situation. So I'm really glad that I'm going to enjoy this. I'm home this weekend in Akron. I don't know if I told about that, but my best friend Kim had um, her birthday last night. So I came in town to go to dinner with her. We went up to Cleveland and it was everything. The place was gorgeous. She was looking freaking amazing, okay? It just was an overall, like, all the way fun night. I haven't been to Akron in a couple months, actually. Um, my family and friends have come down to visit Columbus, but I haven't been up here, so it was just all around good, good vibes, good laughs, good time, good food. I spent entirely too much money on food last night, but it was all delicious and all worth it, so you know, there's that. But yeah, so today I'm getting a massage, and then tomorrow I actually have my PhD photo shoot. Finally, I found a studio here in Akron that I love that I think really will fit the aesthetic, so I'm gonna record all of that, and that'll be Vlogmas Day sometime this week I'll be posting <laughs> the vlog of that experience I just want to check in and get this video started hello to all the new people I hope <laughs> I don't I always get to talking and forget my introductions and what I've said to y'all so hi if you're new here and I will check back in with you guys when I get out of my massage I want to be ready hi thank you thank you you too Okay, I'm back from getting my massage and I feel rather amazing. <laughs> Imagine an hour and a half of just peaceful rain music and beautiful things. She used these cup things on my back. Y'all. And this has to be the freshest Wendy's I've ever had. I'm out like way past Akron um, getting this massage. And this Wendy's was fast hot fresh and this is like I put myself on restriction this month because my eating out has been kind of crazy the past two months I did my budget yesterday um, where I like go through my bank app and I plug everything into an Excel sheet and like look at how much I made the month and how much I spent I was in my own tail 
It was not good. And a huge chunk of it was eating out. So I told myself I'm not going to eat out a whole bunch this month. I'm really going to limit it. But I went to this massage. I hadn't eaten anything today. I was going to get some food beforehand, but was already running late. And so I just wanted to hurry up and get there. And she told me to drink water, this whole thing. And definitely to get some food, but mostly to drink water because something about blood circulation and all that while I was getting this massage that I needed to make sure that I was hydrated <laughs> so that I don't pass out while I'm driving home. I pulled up at Wendy's and I got me a four for four. I also got a Frosty, that is irrelevant. <laughs> but I told myself that today's video is gonna be me updating you all on my dating life. I don't even know why I'm giving into this right now, <laughs> except for the fact that I asked y'all what you wanted me to talk about. And 90% of the responses, 90% of them, were y'all asking about my dating life. And if I am back together with my boyfriend that you all know about, he and I have been in the same place at the same time, or um, I think it really started when we went to one of our high school friends. We went to her wedding together in, oh man, October? Yeah, it was October. And so I posted the picture because we look good, okay? We look good. Um, and everybody and their mother that <laughs> was aware of our relationship previously and that journey through YouTube was like DMing me like y'all back together I think the funniest one was on Thanksgiving my family was over they were in town from Akron sorry this is gonna be like a mukbang cuz I'm so hungry okay so my family was in town in Columbus at my apartment for Thanksgiving and my brother was sitting on my couch and I posted that we were watching Elf. So it was like a boomerang of the TV, you know? And the back of his big old head was in the, the boomerang that I posted. And one of y'all DM me like, oh my gosh, OMG, are y'all back together? Heart eyes. I was like, sis, this is my brother. <laughs> that is my brother's head you're looking at. Anywho. I might have to swing through and get another junior bacon on my way out. Cause this thing is small, look at that. It look like a nugget. <laughs> it's so small. I'm sorry, let me stay focused. I know y'all irritated with me. So I gave y'all all that background because I know this is what everybody wants to know about. Are he and I back together? Am I dating again? Um, after the video from last December, if you're confused and new here. Um, well, actually, if you're confused and new here, let me not start with the video from December. Let me start with the fact that um, really what sent my channel up um, and a lot of my subscribers are from, there's a few videos that a lot of my subscribers are from, but one of them is a series that I did on my unique experience with um, dating and relationships. I posted um, the first video of that series in 2019 um, and I just shared, I opened up about how at the time I was 25, had never been kissed, never been in a relationship, blah, 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 blah. It was a long video. I'll link it if, in case you're interested. It's got like, I think 20,000 views now. Um, but yeah, and it started me doing this whole series about like my experience with singleness and like all of that, really reaching out to other Christian women my age who felt like in the same boat, you know, that we were kind of the eyeballs out. Our culture doesn't really speak to us. It speaks to people being booed up, okay? So I did that series and literally, almost as soon as I started that series, like halfway through, I was in a relationship and I did not see that coming. Yeah, if you want all the news on those, I have videos on all this stuff from 2019, my first relationship, first kiss, all of the in-between. 2019 and all of it was with Luther who he and I went to high school together graduated together all that jazz have known each other it, like actually known each other since like 14 or 15 have known of each other generally speaking or have been in the same place with each other since we were young because we went to the same church but anywho so yeah all of it was with him and it was such a journey it was so fun I loved bringing you guys on that journey of just my story and how it evolved into this like new relationship and how I was legit figuring stuff out because I had no idea what I was doing. And so we dated for about a year and a half, I think almost two years, well, yeah, just over a year and a half we had dated. 
and I posted last December about how we had broken up last year and um, yeah I don't think I really went into depth about anything but it was just it was an interesting time in my life in general if you watch the rest of that video <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on um, including my dad's cancer and my mom had been in the hospital, my brother had been in the hospital. It was just like, it seemed too much. And so, I'll let y'all know that actually along with all of that, I, I was no longer in a relationship. I decided at that point to be private about my experience um, and private about just my relationship journey. I had gone so hard with sharing so much. And I think, I didn't really get ahead of myself because I don't regret anything that I shared, but I don't know, it just was like, it was kind of a lot. And so, I decided to kind of reel it in and be private and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Figure it out first before I come to you to try to talk about it, okay? And to be honest, I'm still figuring it out. So, I, I don't know what that means, but I'm still figuring it out. Um, probably always will be for quite some time. But, to jump to the news that y'all are interested in, yes, I am in a relationship once again. I am back with Luther. We are together. Um, we have been for quite some time now. Um, we were apart for just about half a year, I would say. And um, yeah, we're back together. So <laughs> a lot of what I shared in that video, if I shared it, I can't, I'm really trying to remember what I shared in like the video where I shared with you all that we were no longer together. But I'm pretty sure I shared that God had some work to do in both of us and he very much still does okay the work never stops in us god will always be working in us through us getting us to a better state than where we were previously that's just period but i do think that our separation at the time and what god was trying to do in us it makes sense because we're in quite a different place than we were when i posted the video we are seriously in a different place <laughs> then like I just look at where we are now where our relationship started and it's just kind of like a mind boggling because we're just we're really in a different place and not that where we were the first year was bad oh good I mean y'all remember I had a blast like I had a blast that first year there was a lot of learning a lot of like behind the scenes that was going on for me with it being my first relationship but it was incredible I have no regrets but um where we are now is just so much more i don't know mature i don't know um so yeah there's a lot of nuances to our relationship that i wonder if i'll ever take the opportunity to share you know i'm sure god wants me to share some things but i have to figure out what that is so i have to sit with that more before I just go again coming to YouTube trying to tell y'all what it is and I don't even know what it is that God is really trying to do and um, I don't know what our story means and all of that but you know when I figure it out when I figure out what I want to say and and can clearly articulate what I believe God wants me to articulate about our relationship I will do it like I really do believe that my life um, and my testimony are to be shared it's not just for me. The learning that is happening in me might be for somebody else. So, all that to say, yes, we are back together. And um, it's been good. It has been really good. So, while y'all are all super excited and all of that, I also solicit your prayers. I always do, I feel like, when I talk about my relationship. But it's real. Like, especially being um, a believer, being someone who really wants to honor God with your relationship, someone who's trying to figure it out because you really just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, I'm really praying about mentorship and covering. I really feel like that is what's needed for us in this season is really like spiritual oversight um, in a personal relationship type way. So yeah, that is the news. <laughs> um, it feels anticlimactic to me, but like I said, so many of y'all asked that I was like, well, here we go. I don't know how much else you'll hear about this for a little while. He does want to be, wow, my camera just fell. Okay. He does want to be in some of my Vlogmas videos. So, um, I guarantee you all will see his face. Oh, that's the news. We are no longer no long distance. So, bless the Lord. Everybody shout now, shout now, shout now. Those who are 
have been around for the story. We are no longer uh, long distance. He also lives here in Columbus. And God is doing some really dope things. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But moving on, he's gonna be in some of my Vlogmas videos probably. So y'all will get to see him very soon. I'm pretty sure my battery's about to give out. So I'm gonna go smash the rest of my Wendy's and get on the road to head back to my parents' house because I'm about 40 minutes away. Hope you've been enjoying Vlogmas. If you have, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, let me know about it, and I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Bye!